Hey guys, it's Randy with Low Buck LS here again. And this week I want to talk about what's in your tool bag when you go to the junkyard. Um, I'm planning a, a trip to the junkyard tomorrow to uh, look for donor engines. And uh, if I find one, hopefully pull an engine in the junkyard and bring it back home. So I'm trying to, uh, to be honest, I've never actually pulled an engine in the junkyard before. So I'm trying to think of everything I'm going to need to uh, take with me to uh, be successful if I uh, end up having to pull an engine in, in the junkyard. So I've got a bunch of stuff laid out on the table here uh, in front of me that I'm gonna go through. And, uh, but I'm curious to know what you guys take to the junkyard when you uh, are going to pull an engine or just for getting parts in general. So let me know in the comments below um, what's in your junkyard tool bag and I will flip the camera around here and show you what I'm gonna take with me tomorrow. Okay, here is what I'm gonna be taking to the junkyard. Big pry bar to uh, separate the engine from the transmission. A whole bunch of extensions to get at those uh, bell housing bolts between the transmission and the engine. Some bits to put uh, various sockets on my impact. Uh, breaker bar. A cheater pipe to go on the breaker bar because there's a good chance I'm going to run into some busted bolts and or seized bolts that are going to become broken bolts. So bringing that cheater bar so I can get a little extra leverage. Bringing a torque wrench, I probably don't need that because I'm going to have the breaker bar, but just to spin the engine over to uh, see if it spins and wins, as uh, the driveway engineer would say. I just I figured the ratcheting action of the uh, torque wrench might be helpful for turning over the motor. Uh, bringing a big crescent wrench to uh, spin the fan off the water pump pulley if it's an older uh, Gen 3 LS that has the, the mechanical fan. Um, bringing a cordless impact. I wish I had a bigger one, but I don't. So just be bringing this little DeWalt with the, the Mickey Mouse little bit there. Bringing a sawzall um, just to cut out the exhaust and like this, I posted on Instagram and uh, Facebook group there. I've seen a lot of guys like actually cutting the frame when they're pulling engines. So maybe we'll give that a try. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, a fuel line disconnect uh, tool to disconnect the fuel lines um, on the fuel rail. Some shears that supposed to be some fancy titanium coated for cutting seat belts or hoses or, or whatever. Um, cordless Sawzall, I think I mentioned that already. This one's got like the fancy, uh, bought this new battery for it, flex volt, 60 volt. Um, it's supposed to last forever. Bring in a set of ratcheting wrenches that have both standard and metric. My socket set. And this only goes up to like 21 millimeter. So bring in a Ziploc bag with a few of the bigger sockets, like for turning over the, uh, the crank balancer pulley. And then down here, I got my uh, tool pouch from, from work, my tool bag. I'm an electrician in the oil field. So that has screwdrivers, wrenches, wire cutters, wire strippers, channel lock pliers, more screwdrivers. <laughs> Some coveralls, so because uh, I'm going to be laying under the vehicle and just to keep things somewhat clean. Some rubber gloves to keep the hands clean. Some regular gloves. Uh, inverter in case I need to charge the batteries on the cordless tools. And a charger for the cordless tools. Another thing I just thought of that I'm going to throw in the bag for tomorrow is some big cable cutters or shears that we'll be able to cut through uh, wiring harness or hoses or anything like that. And then the big thing that I'm gonna be bringing is this uh, engine hoist. I'll just back up here so you guys can see it. But that mount in the receiver hitch of the truck. Some of the yards don't have uh, lifting equipment to uh, lift the engine into your truck in the parking lot. So this goes into your hitch receiver, and then this should be able to uh, 
lift the engine off the ground into the back of the truck and it swivels around here so you can swing into the back of the truck so that is what i'm gonna take with me tomorrow i'm curious what you guys take when you go to the junkyard so like i said leave a comment below and let me know if i'm forgetting something or bringing too much stuff or what i should and shouldn't be bringing so so that's going to be all for this one just a quick little video um i hope you guys are all doing well it's election day down in the states so hope things don't get too crazy down there so uh, we'll say uh, bye for now and we'll talk to you on the next one.